Hello everyone. So I am Shruti Ajay, second year MBBS student at GMC Chandigarh. So in this video, we are going to start with the first year revision series, and in this, we are having general anatomy. So I will be covering all the important topics and which are useful and beneficial for you. And uh, this can serve not as a primary source of learning for you, but obviously as a kind of revision with important tips and uh, like. Some add-ons in every point, in every part, where you can, uh, which which can help you score better marks. So first, we will start with adipose tissue. In adipose tissue, we can see there is connective tissue cells. Now lipids are there. There are now you need to remember which shape is there. The spherical shape, right? Now nucleus is flattened and the cytoplasm is at peri uh, and nucleus is at periphery and the cytoplasm is a thin rim around right. Now uh, what are the fat functions and location? If we write everything these in headings, so that will uh, be very uh, nice looking. And along with this, uh, we we need to do one more thing. That is. We need to draw a diagram here, right? We will make a box, and we have to make a diagram here in it of the adipose tissue. Just remember, you have always have to make diagrams in box format, and uh, you can also mention adipose tissue right here, adipose tissue, right? And I I will uh. Draw a diagram. If someone asks, what is the shape? Sometimes it is written spherical, but teachers want the name signet ring shape. And here is the nucleus, right? Obviously, nucleus I will draw with a uh, like violet, or we can say this shade. In histology, also we draw the diagrams in such format only. Next comes superficial fascia. All these questions are, we can say, a short note kind of thing. So in superficial fascia, we are uh, having the beneath this. It is beneath the skin, and which type of tissue is loose annular tissue, and where it is absent. This is a very important point, and it can come it as an MCQ as well. Now in eyelids and uh, the pinna. Um, we know it is very soft, right? And the superficial fascia is not present here. Basically, it is that fat portion, the superficial fascia, which is present in a body. Next characteristic uh, is like it is very thin on dorsal aspect of hands and feet, and where it is dense, it is dense in scalp, palms, and soles. Now, and uh, the function is uh, movement of the skin and. Uh, Pass like it serves as a medium, soft medium, and conserves the body heat because fat is a bad conductor of heat. So this was not that much important, but yes, if we know some important points like this, then uh, it would be helpful for us. Next comes very important five star question that is the deep fascia. In deep fascia, the main question is the modifications of deep fascia, and it usually comes as a short note. When it is a connective tissue, it is best marked in limbs and neck. Now it is inelastic connective tissue membrane is there, and it is like a paper-like appearance. When you will do the dissection, uh, you need to identify which is the superficial fascia and which is the deep fascia. Now superficial fascia is basically a kind of Fat and you will uh, be surprised to know when you will dissect the body. Um, like where, just like uh, you cut a cake, you will cut that superficial fascia in uh, like very uh, healthy and fat uh, bodies. You will be having uh, this much amount. I am sure really like it is true. You will have this much am amount of fat in it, and you will just cut it and like peel it off. And but the deep fascia, it is like a thin paper, like and it, it is like a covering, right? Just like if I take a paper, piece of paper, and I cover it, right? That is deep fascia, and it is very important that you know the difference in it, right? Now, uh, for which fibers are there? We can say collagen fibers. Now, location. This is important where it is absent because when you will go in system wise anatomy, like head and neck and everything, you will come to know about very um, like I mean space uh, uh, the locations in the body where the fascia is absent. Now, in present, it is most places, right? 
Now, where it is toughest? Temporal region, which is the temporal region? This, this, we see it. These are temples, and this fan shaped region is a temporal region. Now, absent is it is like the dermis, and this is the muscle. Now, deep which is absent between the thoracic, abdominal wall, and which is involved in the respiration. Also, it is absent on the face, right? Modifications intramuscular septa, it is between the group of the muscles. Now, deep surface of the deep fascia sends septa to the bone. Like we can say, uh, this is the deep fascia and this is the bone, right? Now, com function kya hota compartment of muscle compartmentalization of the muscles uh, now restricts spread of the infection. If one infection has aroused here and uh, it, it would not let it spread in the other compartment. Now, retina. Now, first was intermuscular septa. At this point of time, it would be diff slightly difficult for you to learn all those modifications. But as you will progress in first year and you come to the end, um, these modifications would be just usual for you. And because you have seen them practically on the cadavers many times. Now, retinaculum, fibre and fibrous flexure sheath. Now, these are specially thickened deep fascia uh, and the tendons passing close to the joint. Now, uh, I am I can see, you can also feel this right now. Now, when you will uh, press your this thing, there will be hard, hard uh, tubes like structure. Those are the tendons of muscles, right? Now, these are passing to my hand like here and uh, when I pull those, now my fingers will also pull, right? It is visible in cadaver because when you do the dissection, uh, you will when you will pull these tendons, your fingers would uh, the cadaver's fingers would move right. Now the tendons passing close to the joint and when uh, and this is a joint right. This is a joint. Now when tendons are here and we uh, need to uh, like when we move the joint, the ten there is a possibility tendon can get damaged. So to prevent that, there is a thickened deep fascia that is the retinaculum. Now, examples is wrist and ankle joint. It is a similar at ankle, right? Now, uh, we can see in palmer and plantar surface, we are having the fibrous flexor sheath. Here, these are also joints and here are also tendons. So, here also we need protection in these. So, fibrous flexor sheath are there. Now, musculovenous pump is a third modification. What is that? Like, uh, we know that uh, the venous drainage is very slow, right? And we need, uh, and in arteries, we have the heart to pump. But in veins, we don't have anything. So, what complements that? In, uh, For example, uh, from our feet, from our legs, how does the venous blood come to our heart? So, when the muscles contract, the, they, they like do a suckling action, they uh, try to push the blood up, right? Muscles contract, then it swell up and deep fascia doesn't move, pressure on the muscle will come because we need to create some in, like the pressure in the compartment. So, muscle will contract and it will like become taut and swell up. But the deep fascia wouldn't move, no? So, um, if I exert pressure, if I exert pressure like this, so there will be more pressure in the compartment and the veins will get pressed and create pressure to carry the blood. Now, aponeurosis, fourth modification, it is like flattened tendon and localized thickening to protect deeper structures on palm and sole. Now, ligaments, these can be your separate short nodes, right? These can be your short nodes. So, you need to prepare some points for that. Ligaments is thickening of the deep fascia which connects the ends of the long bones and um, coverings these things uh, we they are very simple and we can cover by ourselves also. Now, coverings, it can be epi, peri, endomycium for muscles, for nerves it can be epi, peri, endoneurium. And what is the function? You need to learn the functions as well. Now, pulleys. Pulleys for digastric muscle. Digastric muscle is here in our neck, right? Now, myelohyoid muscle. This is the median brachial of myelo myelohyoid muscle is this one uh, here, right? I'm just telling you the locations. You will get to know in detail when the chapter of head and neck will come here. Now, introsious membrane between the two bones. We know here are the bones radius and the ulna, right? Now, in, in between the two bones, there is a membrane known as introsious membrane. 
At the starting, you just need to be curious about everything. Just try to grasp what are the new things, like where are they. Just you should know where are they and what is the function, why it is there, right? Just find answers to these questions. You will get to like you will get interested in the subject. Now compartments of limb, carpal tunnel of wrist here only right now tinnel sign final sign phalen sign uh, whenever a clinical concept comes you need to be over alert because that can come as a separate two marker question of in explain why now tingling and numbness pains and needles right and carpal tunnel is also a very important question that will come as a basically short note in upper limb not here now limb compartment syndrome now, uh, ischemia can occur here. Now, tarsal tunnel syndrome covers the glands, capsule of the glands, right? Now, around large arteries, now axillary sheath, synovial membrane, and bursa. We are uh, having the deep cervical fascia. Now, in clinical case, is arriving here. Uh, Dupritin contracture, now progressive thickening and shortening of the palmar fascia. We are having the palmar fascia here. Now, if the progressive thickening, if it becomes thick and it it, it becomes shortened, then um, like our fingers would contract, right? Now they are digital contraction. Digital means fingers. Now, particularly of the metacarpal, metacarpal. These are metacarpal and these are phalanges. So metacarpal phalangeal. This joint, these these joint. Okay, or uh, the proximal interphalangeal. This is the phalanges, and this is the inter. This is the proximal, and this is the distal interphalangeal. So this joint and this joint, right? Like this. Now usually affects the fourth and fifth digit. Which is the fourth? Fourth and fifth, like this. It could be like this, right? Ring and the small finger, right? Now deep fascia and neck. So it is a collar type of fascia and pre-tracheal fascia and the pre-vertebral fascia. You will learn in detail about these three fascia in head and neck. Now what is axiom? When deep fascia encounters a bone, it attaches itself. It is not that it will pierce the bone and grow across it, right? But it will attach to the bone because both are derived from the mesoderm. Now where deep fascia is least marked? In anterior abdominal wall? Uh, which is said to be absent. Um, now, how deep fascia forms potential pathways for infection to spread? Now, this is also an important question. It can come indirectly. I mean, they may give uh, give you a case and you have to solve it. Now, deep fascia has a facial planes. Like, the fascia is going from, like, here to here. It will, the pus, if infection is here, the pus, the exudate will uh, follow from here to here, right? Along the flow along the map which has been uh, paved by the deep fascia. Now, root of the neck to the arm through the axillary sheath, the swaz sheath which is in the inguinal region and now uh, where deep fascia is absent. Now, in face, wrist, anterior abdominal wall, penis, scrotum, ischiatal fossa. These are the some short questions which may help you uh, to just learn some points. Um, now, supply uh, overlapping skin and enclosed muscles which is from the, we can say, right, tendon. Tendon, it is, it can also come as a question, raffe also question. These are very short questions, very short. Now, principles of skin is incision is a five marker question. Now, tension lines, Langer's lines, pattern of arrangement and pull of collagen fibers within the dermis. Now, linear furrows are, which are invisible to the naked eye, uh, Langer's lines and horizontal in trunk and neck, in trunk and neck, they are horizontal and longitudinal in the limbs, right? These are not visible to the naked eye. Now, incisions are made parallel to these lines. For example, I am having, uh, I can say, if I am having some set of, uh, I can say these things. This is a fiber, okay. This is a cloth. And if I make an incision right here, then there will be no damage to these three things, right? And if I make an incision right here, uh, these pens will get damaged and they will, it will take time to heal. So this is the principle basically. The incision across these lines heal poorly and uh, the wide ugly scar would form. Now fingerprints. This is also a fine mark question. Uh, papillary ridges, friction ridges present on the finger and toe pads on palms and sole. There are narrow ridges separated by parallel grooves. Fingerprints we usually know, just we need to learn in this manner.
you know the designs formed have basic similarities but are not identical in any two individual now the study is known as dermatographics and classification of and identification of fingerprints used for medical legal purpose four basic patterns are there just know the names of the patterns arcs um, loops bulge and composite now glands this is a five mark question it is very common and uh, it can you just have to classify but many times we are not able to identify where is the classification so i have collected it here so first is number of cells unicellular multicellular now duct absent or present endocrine and exocrine now uh, we are having endocrine glands in that we are having cord or a clump type and we are having the follicular type the cord and clump are most of the glands and follicular is thyroid gland now the nature of the secretory product which type of secretion is there mucus serous serum mucus and cellular next is a uh, mode of secretion the mero apo or holocrine next is shape of secretory portion like uh, the it is tubular it is acinar um, and what and next is branching pattern it is a simple or compound like it is a simple compound a simple um, or a compound like right simplest it does not branch compound is branch repeatedly so this was all about uh, today's topic of general anatomy in next class uh, we will uh, cover some more such topics